Hello and welcome to the Korean Beauty Show podcast. I'm your host, Lauren Lee, K-beauty expert, founder of Style Story, where you can shop, learn and explore the world of Korean skincare, and your guide for everything you need to know to perfect your Korean beauty routine at home. So for today's episode, I wanted to do something specifically for the newbies and people that are coming to Korean beauty, maybe for the first time, perhaps you've tried it in the past, but you know, it was just all a little bit too much. You didn't know where to start. If that sounds like you, then stick around. Now, if you're an old hat, uh, I my apologies, because this episode is probably going to be of things that you've already tried, I would say. I mean, stick around if you'd like to just hear hear my recommendations. But this episode today is specifically for the newcomers. And one of the reasons I wanted to kind of circle back and do another beginners episode is, one, because I don't think we've done one for ages, And also because these days the Korean beauty industry really is absolutely huge. And that's great, particularly when it comes to having lots of options. But it can make things very, very daunting. The more choice you have in general, the harder it can be to decide where to start, if to start at all. And, you know, I've had listeners reach out and sort of say, look, I've tried K-Beauty in the past or I've tried a product or two, but the sheer amount of products on the market and all of the noise around it, uh, you know, if you follow any influencers on social media, the sheer volume of product that some of these people are shilling or seem to move through is just mind boggling. And I say that as an industry expert, I'm just like, if I even attempted to put anywhere near that amount of product near my face, I think that we would uh, just be on a break for years because it would take that long for my skin to recover. It's just not representative of the way that most people actually use skincare products and nor is it an approach that I would recommend. Uh, for so many different reasons. You know, you need to give your your skin a month to even see how it responds to something. And if you're doing it properly, you're introducing one new product at a time, sort of patch testing. So those kind of people, they can give you great ideas and, you know, show you what's new. And that's all great. But as your average consumer with one face, you know, a set budget that you've put aside for skincare, that can be really, really confronting to, you know, see all of these new products coming out all the time. And it's just like, I don't even know what my skin type is. (laughs) Like, where would I even know how to start? So if that kind of sounds like you, then stick around because today I'm going to go through just some really cold classic K-beauty products that I think are good places to start, good firsts for anyone that's new to the industry. Now, not all of these are products I use myself, they're for different skin types, but I still think that each of these are representative of something that K-Beauty does really well, and that's why I would like to recommend them to you. Not because I think they're the best product ever, but because I think they're a really good place to to start to get an understanding of maybe how K-Beauty is different from the kind of products that you're already using and how it's different to, you know, other things on the market. Like Korean skincare in general, very different from French skincare, very different from Western skincare. You know, not every single product, but a lot of them are in formulation, in uh, approach, in what they're actually trying to do for your skin, how they are trying to care for the skin, treat the skin and look after it. You know, you, we've got a whole lot of minimal brands these days, brands like COSRX, Axis Y. We've got, you know, opulent brands, luxurious brands like Sol Wasu and the history of Who. Then you've got just good old fashioned fun skincare that actually works, brands like Jellico, which is my brand. K-Beauty is definitely not a one size fits all. Uh, And even though there are some very famous and very hyped products, I always think that the best way to find the perfect match for you is to tailor your products to your skin type or skin concerns. So with all of that out of the way, let's take a look at some of the ones that I just think are tried and tested options. And very few people that try these products tell me that they have a negative reaction to them, even if they don't like the product itself. I will explain what I mean by that because that sounds kind of confusing. 
I'm going to start off with a product that is just a guaranteed hit for anyone that is new to K-Beauty, and that is Misha's M Perfect Cover BB Cream. Now, if you are new to this, some of the product names get very wild and woolly and long, and the spelling is not always clear. So I have them all for you in the show notes. Don't worry about it. Just if you're on your podcast app, just scroll through and click onto the link section where it says for full show notes, click here or something like that. Click that and I will have links to everything for you so that you don't need to worry about memorizing any of this. Because honestly, even as someone that works in the industry, even I'm just like, what was that product called again? Like they changed the names, they updated all the time. Without any further ado, uh, Misha's and Perfect Cover BB Cream. This product Why I think that this is such a good one for newcomers to the industry is because it showcases K-Beauty's approach to makeup very well. And that is your skin, but better, lightweight formulas that are multifunctional. They do several things in one. They have skincare benefits. They contain an SPF. Uh, They cover, they offer coverage, but they don't feel like you are wearing a full face of makeup. Uh, So this has been one of the best-selling BB creams on our website, starstory.com.au, since we launched it. We have been selling this product now for 10 years. It is a worldwide bestseller as well. It's sold well over 50 million units, and it is just a product that for people that are new to the industry and new to Korean beauty, when they try it, they are kind of like, wow, this is not like any other BB cream I've tried before, and that is why I recommend it. This is not a product that I'm myself use every single day but if anyone tells me they're new this is the one thing that I'm like you definitely need to try this to see what this is all about Uh, and the reason that you won't find a lot of people that have been you know around for ages maybe recommending this is because there are just so many new things coming through on the market all of the time but this is just one of those staple products the kind of thing that you can always fall back on if you're trying a bunch of new stuff And you're just like, no, none of this is working for me, but I just need something that I know will. This is one of those products. So it's designed to replace moisturizer, foundation, primer. Now, whether you can get away with that personally will depend a little bit on your skin type. If you're super oily, you may still need a primer. If you're super dry, you may still need a moisturizer, but see how you go. So that's the first one. The second one is Innisfree's Green Tea Seed Serum. And the reason I love recommending this to newbies is because it showcases K-Beauty's fondness for ingredients from Jeju Island. And in general, this is a product that a lot of people, when they're first starting out, really enjoy using. It is arguably one of the most famous Korean beauty products on the market, and that's why it is a place that a lot of people start. Uh, You know, they might have heard of it. They might have seen it before. One of these bottles, or rather 13 of these bottles, sells every minute. So I think this is a really great place to start, particularly if you have oily skin. So it's made with 100% Jeju organic green tea water. And Jeju Island is one of these things that when you first start out with K-Beauty, you're like, what even is this place? Is this a real island? Yes, it is a real island. It is a very beautiful island and Koreans are rightly proud of it. It is a volcanic island. And a volcanic islands, much like Hawaii, Uh, have a really fertile and rich soil that gives them a lot of different ingredients than the things that you will find on the mainland. And that is why K-Beauty has a love affair with Jeju Island. And Innisfree in particular, their whole brand story is built around using ingredients, skincare ingredients from Jeju Island. We have stocked this serum again since 2014 when we were the first online K-Beauty store in Australia. So a very long time and the popularity has stood the test of time. This is a guaranteed sellout. Like it just is people like it and especially people that maybe don't have a whole lot of time to go and try a whole lot of different stuff and see what else is out there. That's why I like recommending that uh, this because I just think it's a good place to start. It's actually designed to be used as the first product after you wash your face, which is slightly different than other serums on the market, which are usually applied after toner or essence. But if you are new and you have oily skin, then that is a great one that I will recommend. The next one is our customer's favorite product, and that is Subi Perfect Pimple Patch. 
If you're new to Korean skincare and you have pimples, you are in for a real treat because Korean beauty options, particularly for acne prone skin, tend to be much gentler and more cost effective, particularly than similar Western options. So these are our, uh, num- usually our number one best-selling product. It varies month to month, but our customers cannot get enough of these. They are made with a really thin, uh, uh, almost invisible hydrochloride. And if you haven't used a pimple patch before, I know that there are Western beauty brands making them. What they are designed for is whiteheads, pimples that have liquid in them not infected ones not cysts not like the really serious angry red stuff and not blind pimples but just your benign type of pimple that pops up rather than popping those out you just put one of these patches over it and basically the hydrocolloid will work to suck up the moisture the gunk or whatever you want to call it in the pimple itself and so when you remove it, it there's usually just a little you know, indent in your skin from where it was, you can pop one more over. And by the time you remove that the next day, your skin has calmed down. Most importantly, you haven't been sitting there picking it and pinching at it and squeezing it the whole time, which is really bad because it can give you scars. Uh, So pimple patches are an absolute K-beauty staple. So if you haven't tried them before, definitely add them to your list. If you do get the odd pimple, if you've got full-blown acne or cystic acne or whatnot, uh, if you are on any kind of medication for acne, I would exercise caution just because a lot of those things tend to make your skin a lot more sensitive and sometimes ripping the patch off can sort of be too much. But if you're just your run-of-the-mill pimple that pops up maybe at your time of the month or something like that, then get onto these. The next product that I think is just a great one to introduce people to is Solwa Su's First Care Activating Serum. And why I think that is because it showcases K-Beauty's dedication to traditional ingredients. So one really important part of the Korean industry is what we call hanbang skincare, which is skincare products that use uh, traditional medicinal ingredients that are used in traditional medicine clinics. I did a whole episode about this part of the industry just recently, so scroll back through your feed and take a listen to that if you're particularly interested in hanbang. But this is an excellent beginner's product to see what this part of the industry is all about. It is the perfect base for your skincare. It's designed to be used post-cleanse to hydrate and balance your skin and give it that healthy glow. So Solwasu is one of the most famous brands that makes this style of product. It is a luxury beauty brand. It is not cheap. Uh, you know, generally will tend to run you a couple of hundred dollars, uh, you know, depending on what which currency you are purchasing in. But this will also help to boost the absorption of the next skincare products that you apply after it. And you will see in the formula and the color of it, these natural um, traditional ingredients starting to come through. Uh, they've got lots of different things like licorice root extract, which is a very famous hanbang ingredient, um, japonicus root extract they have something a trademarked complex called charm balancing complex which is made from five different korean herbs but this is one of those herbal lines the smells might be a little bit different from what you've tried before uh, but this is a really great product if you are maybe gifting something to someone that has never tried k-beauty before but you want to show them that you care about them, that you've spent, you know, an appropriate amount of money maybe because these are a little bit more expensive. You know, if you're trying to treat someone that, you know, it's a special birthday, a milestone birthday, or just anyone you need to impress because these are beautiful. It is obvious when you look at them that this is a luxury product. Anyone would be happy to receive that one. So that one is a great place to start as well. The next one on my list is COSRX's BHA Blackhead Power Liquid. And the reason I suggest this is a good place to start is because I think it really showcases K-Beauty's approach to gentle exfoliation. Now, unlike most Western BHA products, this one is formulated using betaine salicylate rather than the more common salicylic acid. And you will notice that it is not as strong, not as harsh, and not as drying as other BHA products. 
results. People that are experts at BHAs who have been using them in their routine for years, you might find that it is not enough for you. But if you are the kind of person that has previously suffered a lot of skin damage or barrier damage because you have overdone it with Western style exfoliation products, then this one may be a good alternative for you. It's a good one for blackhead sufferers because BHA basically works to unclog the the glue that holds dead skin onto your skin so that it can you can flush it out and you know uh, stop your skin from getting congested in the first place uh, so that is a good place to start like not everyone loves this product some people do find that it is too gentle for them but I think if you're new and you're starting out and you want to see like how is K-Beauty different, this is a really prime example. This product is so popular and it has been ever since it launched. And there is a reason for that. There are a lot of people that need this kind of product in their routine, particularly if they have oily skin. Uh, you know, it does help the other products in your skincare routine better penetrate your skin once you've unclogged and exfoliated those dead skin cells that have built up. So if you have oily skin and you're looking for something just a little bit gentle, to love, then check that one out. The next product on my routine is um, on, my, on my routine on my list is also in my actual routine. Uh, this is a product that I have used for years. I just love it. I try lots of other lip tints, but this one is just a go-to staple product that you know. Anytime I've tried a bunch of stuff that I'm just not wowed with, I go back to this, and that is Roman's Juicy Lasting Tint. I think that these are great because they showcase how good Korean beauty is at making lip tints. In general, we love a good lip tint in K-Beauty. Uh, and the reason why is that you apply it and you can go in again with a second layer if you want a stronger tint. You can do gradients, which are really, really popular and have been for years. There's just a lot of ways you can use them and they keep your lips moist, juicy, uh, and, you know, it's not the same thing as wearing a lipstick. Now, there are a lot of lipsticks doing the rounds at the moment in Korea and in K-beauty, but lip tints are a very classic sort of K-beauty thing that uh, Korean beauty really does well. If you've ever seen K-drama stars or um, K-pop stars, they absolutely love the looks that you can do with these kind of things. So, you know, these are so popular in Korea as well. This is not just one of those trends that is overseas. They come in so many different uh, shades as well. It's almost like a lip gloss, lipstick, lip tint in one. That's how I would describe it. So go and check those out if you haven't tried them already. The next product on my list is Jellico's Cinnamon Toast Sugar Scrub Foam. And the reason is that I think that this really showcases K-Beauty's dedication to fun. And that was one of the things that we wanted to do with our brand is really bring back that sense of fun with skincare. Skincare, good skincare doesn't have to be boring. And the best products in your routine are the ones that you're going to actually use. So if you're inspired to use your skincare because it's fun and you're looking forward to it, then that's a good product. So why we created this product was obviously we love sugary cinnamon treats ourselves. And when it comes to your skin and exfoliation, sugar is a really great ingredient because being a natural ingredient, it dissolves naturally, which means you can customize it to your desired level of grittiness. And we used really, really fine sugar crystals in this that really do dissolve quite quickly as opposed to thicker ones like a brown sugar or something like that. So you will notice that this feels quite different to other uh, sugar scrub products on the market if you've ever tried anything like that. And you can actually use it two ways, as a cleanser or as an exfoliant. And that is because as you're massaging it into your face, the sugar crystals dissolve and it becomes a regular cleanser. Some people also say that they like to use it as a lip scrub as well. And I can confirm that is a great way to use it, but it almost tastes edible. So just make sure you don't swallow it. It actually does taste like cinnamon toast. So just you have been warned. Now, the next product on my list is Laneige's Cream Skin Refiner, which has actually just gone through an upgrade of both packaging and the name. It's now called Serapeptide Refiner, uh, Cream Skin Serapeptide. If you are new to K-Beauty and have dry skin, chances are you will love this product. A lot of people do. The concept behind this was melting a whole bottle of cream into a liquid form so that you can really moisturize your skin from the very first step. Now, if you have oilier combination skin, you're probably going to hate this and find that it leaves an oily film on your face or that it's just too much. But if you're really, really dry, then this is a really good one to try. Uh, 
Uh, and it's also one of those products that is just globally popular. And that's why I think it's a good product if you're starting out with Korean beauty. Now, the next one is another one that is definitely in my routine and has been for years. And that is Dialba Piedemont's White Truffle First Spray Serum. And why I love this is because I think it highlights K-Beauty's obsession with misting. And this is also the number one selling mist in Korea. It is beloved by millions of people. They've sold over 14 million units. It's made on a base of white truffles and lotus with avocado oil. It has won uh, our previous Best of K-Beauty Awards. It is always in the top 10 for bestsellers on our website as well. People love this product. I love this product. Anyone that has listened to this show <laughs> will know. So I'm not going to go go on. If this is the first episode you've ever listened to and then you start listening back, you'll be like, Jesus, this chick really <laughs> loves this product. And I'm not on their payroll. Can you believe it? <laughs> um, I buy all of my own myself. I don't know how many bottles I've been through at this point, but this one is a really, really good one. It is the kind of product that makes people go, oh, is this what mists are supposed to do? Like, okay, I have been deceived up until now. All right. So that was all of the products that I had on my list for you. If you have listened to all of this and you are like, that all sounds great, but I'm still hella confused then please reach out to either me or our team. We are only a message, an email away. Admin at stylestory.com.au is where you can get in touch. We would be more than happy to tailor a routine for you, explain some of the basics, run through how to like integrate new products into your routine, the order, any of that kind of stuff. That is our jam and what we love doing. So if you are new, you've got obviously a lot of homework to do, a lot of catching up, but if to, if we can help in any way and help simplify it, we would love to do that for you. So always feel free to reach out. I am going to finish up here for today. I will be back in your ears next week. And until then, I will see you on Style Story. 